The Junior Olympics are approaching, but some local boxers could be knocked out of the competition before it even begins. New tonight, KITV4's Eric Nackton reports the fight is over their participation in a non-sanctioned event held in Hawaii. Sparking a rally this month on Oahu, members of boxing clubs in Hawaii facing disciplinary action for taking part in what USA Boxing categorizes as an unsanctioned event. In advance of the Rising Kings 7 kickboxing event April 15th in Waipahu, a memo was sent to potential participants from USA Boxing's headquarters in Colorado that the event is not sanctioned. After participating, many coaches and boxers reportedly received a letter from USA Boxing notifying them they were being placed on administrative hold pending an investigation. It could jeopardize their chance of competing in next month's Junior Olympics. Some reportedly already spent thousands of dollars on travel arrangements. H.E. Jumawan, president USA Boxing Hawaii, spoke to KITV4. I'm not the one that sent out the letter. I don't have the authority or the power to sanction, to to. Uh, uh, penalize anybody. Neither do I have the authority or the power to lift the, the sanctions. Jumuan says precautionary measures are stepped up considerably in a sanctioned event. They got to have a physical exam that says that they are um, fit to compete in sports or fit to compete in boxing. A licensed physician has to be at every event that gives the boxers a pre-bout check. As soon as the, they step out of the ring, the doctor checks them again. All sanctioned events have insurance. It's a million dollar policy. Sanctioned events have certified referees that know how to recognize when somebody is hurt or injured to stop the bout. I don't know why USA Boxing is involved in anything kickboxing because they have no jurisdiction for any kickboxing event that's 18 and under. And our event is an exhibition sparring event in, 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 its, in itself. So the sad thing is that these kids are being punished. If this was a sanctioned kickboxing event, it would have same kind of protocols as USA Boxing. This guy holds sparring events on the weekly. Other gyms hold sparring events on the weekly. But because we did it on a bigger level at the Philcom Center, it's according to them, we went against the rules. Once you take the sparring outside of your gym, rent a venue, right, and charge admission, it's no longer training. Mike McAtee, executive director and CEO of USA Boxing, recently stated, for clarification, the admin hold on boxers actually impacts four boxers out of the 1,150 boxers who are registered. Eric Nackton, KITV4, Island News.